Hello there colleagues, partners and investors. You're on the channel doing of smarters. We're going to address a topic that is very important for us. Many of you know that thanks to the using of the combined winding technology Slavyanka, it's possible to make induction electric motors of a higher energy efficiency class in the frame of a lower class motor. It's important that the mounting basic dimensions remain the same. Now the leading engineer Igor Korhov will tell you what Savile Notch has achieved in this matter and what we are currently working on. Enjoy watching! We have a very interesting topic today. A lot of electric motor producers trying to achieve a higher energy efficiency class perform, let's say, a minor scheme. Precisely, let's have a look. We have a large motor by one well-known producer. In this case, it's size 132. In order to make a higher energy efficiency class, they take a smaller unit size, the power of approximately size 112. And this powering combination with this motor consequently results in a higher energy efficiency class. We are taking another path. And we are trying to make, and not merely trying but have already made, the energy efficiency classes IE3, IE4 in the size compliant with the ghost. And what happens if we take the path of some European producers. We will see. So, we have moved to our laboratory, and in this case you can see the same motor rotating on the test bench as the one we showed to you in the winding workshop. This is size 100. In this particular case, it has been rotating about an hour or even more on the test bench for the set temperature conditions. And we can see that the maximum body temperature is 36.4 degrees. 36.4 degrees. The motor is operating under full load, but according to the European standard. Which means we have reduced its nominal power one step lower. Anyway, this motor with a nominal gas performance has already demonstrated the IE4 class. And now let's see what it will demonstrate in accordance with the European standard. Let's continue with the figures and have a look at the unit. These are the readings. In this case, our motor with 1.5 kW power demonstrates 87.5 87.6 efficiency. And in accordance with the standard, it will be. The standard prescribes the limit efficiency value for this motor type. So, at 1.5 kW and the synchronous speed of 1000 revolutions per minute like we have here, we can see 85.9%. Just in case if somebody asks and sees that the results are not complying with this value, they can check and see. There is also another gauze that we can refer to. It's 12014, it's IEC2, nominal parameter values and operational performance. In this particular case, this gas has permissible parameter deviation, including efficiency deviation. So here we can see that for 1.5 kW the efficiency will be exceeded, but this information will be interesting if we see that the efficiency is less than the prescribed value. So, if minus 1 efficiency for the module is less than 15%, the motor is classified as a particular type. That's why deviation should be taken into account too. Here we can see that the efficiency is 1.5% higher than the class IE4 efficiency with 1.5 kW power. Currently, there are four classes from IE1 to IE4 in accordance with the efficiency classes. Class IE5 will appear either in the next version of the standard or in its second part when it's developed. We continue our experiments. The same motor is rotating, but this time under its rated load, that is 2.2 kW. After having rotated for about an hour, it achieved the setup mode. We can see that the temperature in this mode is of course higher than with 1.2 kW. At this moment it shows the maximum temperature, that is 44 degrees. We have a dot display here, so it depends where we direct it. It is indicating variably 43-44. Got it. Now we continue with the figures. We can see that the load is 2.2 kW. 
The efficiency under this load is 86.6 and the value is sometimes fluctuating. The torque is of course 21.9, evidence table we have it preset. And now my colleague will tell you what it corresponds to. We should refer to the standard again and see what nominal efficiency for class IE4 is determined for 2.2 kW motors and accordingly the synchronous speed of 1000 revolutions. We can see 2.2 kW, 6 poles, 1000 revolutions, 87.4%. We conducted tests, let's see what nominal values we got. The nominal efficiency is 86.61, that is 86.6%. We see and check the permissible deviation. The formula is provided in this clause in accordance with the standard I have mentioned before, its nominal values and operational performance. So the deviation of the minus efficiency is up to 15%. What do we have with this motor? The minus deviation is 6.27%. In accordance with the IEC standards, this motor is also compliant with class IE4 requirements in terms of efficiency, having the efficiency value of 86.6%. We continue our tests with the motor. Now it's operating under a considerable overload. So instead of its nominal 2.2 kW, it has been operating under 3 kW for 2 hours. Let's check its temperature. The maximum body temperature is 65 degrees. It shows it at this point. You can see in the corner here. It shows in the crossing and only in this position where we direct this crossing at. And the maximum temperature is 65. The motor has been operating under 3 kW instead of 2.2 for about 2 hours. And now we continue with the figures. And the figures are the following. With the output power of 3 kW, you can see in this case we have the power of 3 kW. Accordingly, the efficiency is 83.7. It varies slightly, we accept 83.7. To recap, this is size 100 motor in the nominal power 2.2 kW in S1 mode. In this particular case, in the same S1 mode, it has been operating under 3 kW for over 2 hours. No overheating, everything is fine. So, major European producers enhance the energy efficiency class by making lower power in a bigger size motor. And we have made bigger power in the smaller size motor. Nevertheless, our energy efficiency class is still almost at the limit of IE3. My colleague will tell you about it in more detail now. We are referring to the efficiency class standard IE classes. We are also checking a 6 pole motor with a synchronous speed of 1000 revolutions, but the nominal power is 3 kW. We see the limit efficiency value, the standard value is 85.6% as shown here. I will show you, this is the table we have, IE3 at the frequency of 50 Hz. As we can see, the motor demonstrated the efficiency of 83.7% and we check the compliance with the class requirements. Here we have the efficiency very close to the limit value but still it is class IE3, because the difference between these values, one minus efficiency, standard and registered, is less than 15% for the model. We can check, these are the links to efficiency classes and ghost where the permissible deviation is stated. This is what I have mentioned before, ghost dated by 2014 and Igor additionally asked me to display the winding temperature, show that there was no overheating. In this case, the temperature is 73.76 degrees Celsius, and the winding temperature was calculated indirectly, using the body temperature and resistance values, change of the winding resistance. The formula is provided here, it's standard, you can see it here.
let's sum up the results. The motor with the Slavyanka winding demonstrated excellent results not only with the nominal 2.2 kW, but also under considerable overload too, that is 3 kW. As a matter of fact, it remains within the tolerance limits for class I-83 without any overheating. And I think that we can increase the load even more. We won't do it now. This is something we will be trying on other motors and with other types of our winding. To be continued. Our video is coming to an end now. Please repost it, subscribe to the channel, click the like button and the bell icon. This way you can always be updated about the latest news of Savalmash. See you again!